What's up guys? My name is Jerry. Probably you guys know me as uh, Beast Fab. What we do here is everything evolving, uh, fabrication, you know, we do installs and trucks. We are a manufacturer for any other parts that probably you guys need. Uh, we do custom fabrication, welding, bending. We have a plasma table if you ever want like any custom projects. We do all that kind of stuff too. You guys can find us on our new Instagram that I guess is gonna put on the box below. It will be so nice if you guys can give us a follow or give us a review. You guys need anything just call the office shoot us a dm and we'll be glad to help you guys out okay so let's get this done So what I ended up getting here are gonna be the brand new Deaver. I got stage three because I do have a lot of weight on my Tacoma. So I got the Deaver stage threes. And then of course right here inside this box, we have all the brand new bushings, U-bolts and stuff like that, that we're gonna to need to do this install. It's gonna be freaking awesome. If you guys do remember, we just installed brand new bump stops as well. I installed brand new shocks. Just everything in the rear is brand new. So it's gonna be awesome to actually finally test it out. Anything that you did see in those videos, I did get them off of runningfortacos.com. So if you want to check them out description box below i have a discount code for you guys on most of their products not everything so if you want to check that out as well when you guys are browsing their website you can check it see if it works for you or not so let's go ahead and now just get into the install and we'll show you guys how it's done so we're going to go ahead and get started so let me show you guys so inside the box you're going to get some u-bolts you're going to get some washers nuts bushings and then these type of bushings as well so the way you, this is going to work is you want to go ahead and start off with the bushings first so for each side so there's one two and then there's two more sides on the opposite one of course this is gonna be a total of four so for each side what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab two of these uh, rubber bushings here you're gonna grab one of these bushings here and then you're also gonna grab some lube so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be placing them into these holes one on one side one on the other side and this goes down the middle which you guys will see right now including with the lube okay, so as you guys can tell he's gonna start off with just lubing it the better you lube this, it'll last you a lot longer. And it's always good to put some as well on the bushings. And as I always tell you guys, if you guys don't know what you're doing with any of this type of stuff, just make sure to hit up Jerry. He can hook you up with everything as far as installs or fabrication, anything like that. So it's better to get it done the right way. Kind of play with it. I know he's an expert with his fingers. He tests it out on me sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> And the reason he's lubing the center piece of it as well is because you guys will see in a bit, but this is actually gonna go down the center. So that's why he's also putting some inside. Always put this one in the bottom. So the bottom one first. Yeah, so that way you can kind of hit it a little. Hit it on the, on, the, on the ground, then you put this one on top. You can also go ahead and lube it if you want, so it'll go, it'll go in easier, put it right there. And down the center. Yeah, then start getting hard, just grab Get the mallet. Your, and just a rubber mallet. Damn. All right, you guys, so as you can tell, this is now done. So up next, like I was telling you guys, we're gonna grab the rest of the bushings and stuff like that. And we're gonna do the same thing to the opposite side, uh, one from the bottom and then one from the top and then put the gold uh, bushing right through the center. But before that, of course, we gotta lubricate them, do the same thing to that. And then we'll be ready to finally install these brand new Devers onto my Tacoma. Now that we have the whole leaf pack kind of put together with the bushings and everything like that, we're gonna get started on actually removing my old leaf pack so we can put the brand new one in another thing i wanted to tell you guys besides the point check out that rear diff uh, skid plate that i have right there from running for tacos if you want to get yours i do have a discount code for you guys you can get that looks cool so the first step in this process is going to be removing the shock not technically we're just going to be loosening it down here which i'll show you guys right now so this part here as far as removing the shock the bottom part of it it's only going to vary on what kind of shock you have as far as for me technically i do have a lot of travel so we wouldn't really have to remove it but we're just going to be removing that bottom bow just to kind of play it safe since the stage three devers that i'm putting on are slightly bigger than these we don't want to struggle kind of getting it in you guys can tell we use the impact wrench on this side and then just a regular wrench on this other side uh, that's going to be a size 19 millimeter to go ahead and remove uh, the nut and then the bolt from that side and just like that we're good and we'll put this back just so we don't lose it good and now move on to the u-bolt flip kit and that's going to be a size 22 so as far as for me on this specific u-bolt flip kit from duro bumps which i got from running for tacos uh, there's going to be one two three and then four back here nuts and that's what we'll remove and it should come apart 
So I know everybody's not gonna have this same setup as me. So of course for me at the top, it was a size 22 to remove those four bolts. But if you guys still have your stock set up, your guys' nuts are actually gonna be right here at the bottom. It's gonna be four of them. And those are gonna be a size 19 for you guys. So just to give you guys an idea. And just like that, the bump stop is removed. Heck yeah, thanks to this guy right here. Look at him. <laughs> now that we've removed that, up next we're gonna be releasing the pressure on the rear diff and that'll kind of help us out on uh, taking these off so it releases pressure so it's not so tight. You guys will see what I mean right now. As you can tell, he's just gonna go ahead and bring it down. So nothing hard about it. But this is why I always tell you guys it's best to do stuff at least specifically to this, especially leaf packs at a shop because doing this at home, trust me, it does look easy maybe on the camera, but in person actually doing it, and you can ask anybody that's actually done it at home, it's this is not an easy job to do. Your back's gonna hurt, you're probably gonna break something and it's just gonna take forever. So I wouldn't recommend doing this at home. Now that we're really some pressure up next, what we're gonna be doing is removing the hanger uh, bolt that's right here. So there's gonna be one bolt here and then on the opposite side, you're not gonna be able to see it, but we have to get a wrench in between right here. So we'll sandwich it there and get the impact here to remove it. Uh, once this comes down, then we can remove the shackle part and we'll go from there. That'll actually release this whole thing completely, work on that side and we'll be done. Of course, not everybody does have hangers like me from our cab garage. Uh, so for your guys, this step here might be slightly different, but it's the same concept. All right, so just to show you guys, there's the wrench, which is a size 22 for me. And then over here, we'll be using the impact wrench while he holds it. You guys will see that and then this bolt will come out. Now that we release tension here, uh, we're actually gonna leave this top one for last. When we take out the leaf pack, it'll just make it a little easier for us. So we're gonna move on to this side and then we'll come back over here. As far as for this side over here, which is closest to the cab, it's gonna be a size 19. There's gonna be a bolt here and a nut on that side. For this, uh, there's not gonna be room for like an impact wrench or anything like that. So what Jerry's gonna be using is gonna be just a ratcheting wrench, as you guys can see it there. And that should help release it. So that's what he's gonna do right now. As you guys can tell, uh, that's where the nut came out of. So now we just kinda gotta hit this uh, bolt so that way it comes out this way. I don't know if you guys can tell, that bolt is in there. And now imagine doing this on the ground. You try to kinda play with this leaf pack, bring it up, try to take out that bolt. It's not gonna be easy, I can guarantee you guys that. Another thing I wanna tell you guys, check out this exhaust, man. This thing's awesome. You can get yours, I also have a discount code for that. have a sit under the fresh so it doesn't fall on you. We just gotta kinda take it out and then we can finally remove the shackle from here because of course, we're gonna be reusing my archive garage shackle onto the new one. There it is. Another thing I wanted to tell you guys too, doing this at home, if you guys are not strong like me, trust me, that thing is heavy. Say goodbye to these bad boys here. Say hello to these. Dang. So before we actually install it onto the truck, we wanted to explain something, just in case you guys also get Devers. So for the old man emus, uh, they're not site specific. They're just uh, oriented in a way where you have to put it correctly. So I'm gonna show you guys just so you get an example. On the old ones, as you guys can tell, uh, there's a plus, which means forward, so forward to the cab. But as far as these brand new Deaver ones, these are actually site specific. So when you guys do install these, if you guys do, um, you have to pay attention to the part number because like I said, they're spice side specific. So for me, the U402R, that's gonna be the passenger side. And then the other one, it's gonna say a part number and then an L, which is gonna be the left driver side. So you guys do gotta pay attention if you guys do get some Devers like this, just so you guys don't put them in correct, incorrectly. Because me and Jerry have seen a lot of people come through the shop with incorrect uh, installations. So we just wanted to point that out to you guys so you guys don't mess yours up. Now you're gonna see the strong man take off this thing. <laughs> and this thing? The little strong man? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the little, not not this guy. Yeah, no, the little This guy. is the little strong guy that the I was talking guy. about. Yeah. <laughs> so all he's doing here is just taking off my shackle. These are from Archive Garage if you want to get yours. And uh, we're going to be setting up over here on the brand new ones. Of course, we're going to be reusing them. And these are new, so it's going to be awesome. So just hand tight for now, as you guys can tell what he's doing. So we reused the hardware and we reused the shackle. Dropped it over here, bolts hand tight. 
and we're pretty much good to go from here. Yeah, yeah make sure you get a bell and eight hours of sleep, and then you can come and install some levers, okay? <laughs> they are heavy, I'm not joking. Look at that. <laughs> That's literally like hitting the gym right now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, literally, dude. Damn. So there it is. And I'm over here complaining that the camera is heavy. <laughs> All right. So what he just did, if you guys see in the center, there's going to be like a bolt. Yeah. And it has to actually sit in its position, which it'll sit in here. I don't know if you guys can see it there yeah. slightly. So it's actually going to sit in its position. Let me get this one again here. And then just realign the shackles with the hangers. And once that's done, you'll be able to put that bolt through there. And then we have to also align that side. But let's go with uh, one side first. So the same bolts that we took off from here, that's what we're gonna be reusing. Yeah, we're gonna be reusing the same uh, hardware that you, that Archive Garage, you know, uh, provided with. Heck yeah. So everything can be just hand tied for now because uh, the leaf bags, they have to be torqued um, with the truck on the ground. One thing I did want to point out on these new Devers, if you guys do remember my old setup, it was actually hitting here. So on these new Devers, they're actually pushed back way over here. So now when it flexes out, it's not going to have that problem on hitting that. So this is awesome. Up next, uh, we'll be reusing that same bolt that we took out from that side and that, and we'll pop it in there. This is where it gets a little, uh, kind of, you have to play with it basically, because yeah, it's kind of hard. With. Yeah, yeah, the tower's gonna help us a little bit, but <laughs> I still gotta play with it. You could tell he had to shift it, so he pretty much brought it forward, and then it should align. Yeah. Once it's aligned, then you can put the bolt right through, and then attach the nut, and you'll be set. Hand tight as well. Tight. Right. Well, you have it there, now you go back and realign your differential. So right. it's gonna be off a little, so probably you had a you gotta either pull it or push or it. Or push it. So depending. There it is. All right, you guys, so I don't know if you noticed that after a couple minutes of playing with this bad boy, the pin sat in its position and now it's all done. And this is with using the correct tools and everything like that, it's still a slight struggle. Just so you guys get an idea. <laughs> like I said though, you can ask your friends that have done it at home, it's not fun. Not fun at all. <laughs> Once that's done, you can either put your uh, stock U-bolts uh, that are here, or as far as in my case, my U-bolt flip kit with my bump stops. Sexy right here. One thing I did forget to mention, as you guys can tell, we kind of started putting back the U-bolt flip kit already. If you guys do do this, make sure to put Loctite on it as well. That way it seals correctly. When we installed it the first time, we did put Loctite, but now that we removed it, of course, oh, we have to put Loctite once again, just so that way the bolts stay in place. You do not want this thing falling apart when you guys are out on the trail. Right now, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and now torque it down to spec. Whenever torquing these bad boys down, you gotta make it in an X pattern, meaning uh, tighten this down, and then you tighten the one back here down, and then this one, and then that one. After you hit it with the gun, uh, then you go ahead and grab your torque wrench, do the actual torque specs, and then you'll be good to go. As far as torquing down these back here and the ones way up front, those ones, they actually have to be done when the truck is on the floor. So for now, everything's hand tight as far as those. We'll start on the opposite side, do the same steps. We'll bring it down and then we'll torque those. So just so you guys get an idea. And just for those of you guys that don't know how to use a torque wrench, that probably means you shouldn't be doing this job. You're done with that, torquing it down with the torque wrench. Uh, then of course you start on this, put your shock back if you did remove it like we did. All right, so of course we finished that side up. I'm excited to show you guys once he finishes up this side and after of course we lower it, put it down. Uh, I want to kind of see the lift. As far as for me, it might sit about the same, might be a little higher. That's kind of what I'm also excited about because it looked like my rear was starting to sag a little and of course I carry a lot of weight on this truck, as you guys may know. Also gonna help us out as far as it not sagging so that way it stays nice and leveled. And look at Jerry dancing up there. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> Where's the pole? Heck yeah, that's how you do it, it's a party yeah. truck. Yeah. As you guys can tell, now we have the truck on the floor and I just wanna show you guys really quick. So it looks freaking awesome. Uh, as far as for me, I do have 35 inch tires and I do have my fenders cut. So it's gonna look a little higher than it should, but overall I'm happy with it. Uh, it just raised it slightly just a little bit, which no problem to me, I like the way it sits. So now it's nice and leveled with the front. And up next, what we need to do now, like I told you guys, so right now you guys saw kind of Jerry dancing around just to kind of settle the springs. So after we shuck it around, stand it on it, it just settles it. And now we can go ahead and go underneath 
and actually torque down these bolts here and then of course the one up front which is right about in that area there so then we'll be done after we torqued it down to spec and that'll be it so right now what he's doing is uh, before we torque it down he's gonna go ahead and uh, kind of clean off the old torque ma marks that he had done previously and then we'll put on some new marks for this uh, torque spec that we're about to do right now we just finished up the top. Up next, he's gonna go ahead and mark the bolts just to make sure everything's in place. And that'll kind of give me a guideline as to check it over time, make sure I didn't move. We finished up this, now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the front of the truck and do the same steps. We're in the front of the truck here, uh, so we just need to tighten it down. So that's what he's gonna do right now. And then we'll be done. We all right, you guys, so thank you for staying until the end of this video. And I know Jerry thanks you guys as well. Don't forget, if you guys do want any installations like this, make sure to hit him up. He has great prices, great customer service. He can answer your questions, of course. So if you guys did enjoy today's video, as you guys can tell, uh, we did. We had a lot of fun. If you guys do end up wanting to go ahead and buy these, they're going to be in the description box below. They're going to be on runningfortacos.com. Like I said, many of their other products that they have on their website, I do have discount code for you guys, which you can check it out on the description description box below if you guys don't want to check out beast fab make sure to check him out uh, he does have a brand new instagram sadly his last one did get hacked so just ignore that one this is his new one which is right here so if you guys did enjoy today's video please make sure to like comment and subscribe don't forget to follow us see you guys Feel free to subscribe